Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to this week's video. The week that was a day late, but here we are. An update on my um, crochet and knitting projects for the past week. It's Easter Monday, and so if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter, everyone. Easter Sunday was Reeves's birthday, so we've had a busy time of it, hence I'm a little late. Now, there'll be a video, and at the end, there'll be another little video on my Amigurumi Wars finished object. I'm doing a separate little video in case I have to edit it off because YouTube find it inappropriate. And it's not that bad, but they can be very strict. So make sure you watch it to the end. If it stops after this one, you know I couldn't put my little Amigurumi War project up, but I will post a picture of it on Instagram because I don't think... They will find it offensive. Anyway, let's get started with the week that was. First off the ranks is Bod Hatter Palooza. This week's pattern or tutorial was the glow in the dark hat, relatively easy to make, and you made it with the lion brand glow in the dark yarn. Now, I don't have any of that yarn. I could buy it online from Crafts Online for about $13 a ball plus postage, but this year I am using up my yarn stock. So I went looking and I found some very bright fluoro orange that I bought a couple of years ago from Hobie. And here it is, my Bod Hatterpalooza. She's quite bright. It actually fits me really well, except I've just washed my hair and it's damp, so I didn't want to put the hat on. Um, Crystal does it in a six millimeter. I did it in a five and a half. It is a perfect fit and I actually quite like the way it's bright and funky, I guess you'd call it. But that is this week's hat for about Bod Hatterpalooza with Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. Ta da! First finished object. The second one is just a work in progress, a whip that I have shown you before. I think I showed you where I got to at the end of February. It's just something I do free and easy when I feel like just taking it easy and not doing too much heavy lifting in knitting because I do have a lot of knitting projects on the go. Last time I was to there and I've done during March most of that, maybe a couple of rows in April. But this is my Russian join magic balls of scrap yarn that I am using and this is a free pattern and it's a lap blanket I'll probably donate to charity if it turns out okay but there you go my scrap yarn blanket uh, with magic Russian join balls I'm also using earplugs for e um, needle protectors now I got this tip from Soxy now um, on her knitting channel someone gave this tip you get a lot of earbuds like we used to fly a lot and there we've got quite a few in packets and if you run out of needle protectors these work really well i really like them and yeah i have so many knitting pro projects on the go i thought i'll give these a go and they work really well highly recommend that tip it was excellent this is the hobie yarn I think it's Hobie XL. It's really soft and it's a true full weight. That's what's left out of the ball. I didn't have a ball band, so I can't tell you how much was in the, the um, ball. But yes, it is lovely and soft. So I also um, got some happy mail early this week. I got a card from Barbara Linehard in Florida. Look at that happy dolphin. That certainly puts a smile on your face, having fun in Florida. It is lovely that she keeps sending me all these lovely cards. I really enjoy receiving them. They always seem to arrive when I need a bit of a lift up. Thank you, Barbara. So for Easter, I did do an Easter short. I'm doing April shorts, a 60 second or less video each day. Truly, I do not know how people vlog every day and find things to talk about. I struggle to find things for 60 seconds. But I did say in one of those that um, I don't like or didn't want a lot of chocolate for Easter. I got a couple of chocolate bilbies. Bilbies replace rabbits here. We still have chocolate rabbits, but they 
they promote you buying a chocolate bilby because 20 cents from each bilby bilby purchase goes to save the bilby fund you can also buy wombats koalas and i found out from karen in adelaide you can get platypus ones i haven't seen those up this way we have always bought the bilbies we support the save the bilby fund yeah but my family bought me some patterns from my Ravelry wish list. I'll share those again. I really am. Um, it's a great, it's a great gift for Easter when you're not wanting a lot of chocolate. So the first off the ranks was the Muscle Burra hat. Sorry, the printer here is not that great. I've seen a few people knit this hat, and I really want to give it a go. I think it will be awesome. So knitted pattern. These are all paid for on Ravelry. All tutorials, patterns, links will be in the description below for you to check out. The other one, um, I remember watching a video where they said every man and their dog has made this. The anthology throw. Everyone I have seen that's been made turns out beautifully. I'll either do this for Advent knitting at the end of the year or I may save it and do it for my 100 day project next year. But yes. I really did want this and they bought me this one and this is one I picked two different it was in my wish list for Amigurumi Wars I just love it I think they're gorgeous I've even been checking out the King Cole yarn on Wool Warehouse because I'm not sure I could get yarn like this to make them but there they are two different little weirdo elephants I know someone who might like that pattern Mm, might have to consider it but yes I think this may be appearing this year on the Amigurumi Wars one of these so they're the patterns I got for Easter really a great gift if you're not into chocolate or don't want a lot of chocolate for Easter I went to the um, crochet for cancer group on Saturday I haven't actually sat down and stayed at the group from quite a while because the markets were always on a Sunday and Saturday was busy getting ready for the markets but I stayed and caught up with my friend Ulia from Cairns Poppy On we had a great chat she said isn't it great to be able to chat to someone who shares your pattern, passion for crochet and knitting and all things crafty and um, yeah it was it was lovely she is chasing more poppies for Cairns Poppy On I thought I had some made at home but I must have given them away so I said I would make her some I'll just make a couple each day maybe in my lunch hour at work until she tells me she doesn't need any more what I have tried differently is I've been doing the green centers I've never done this before I always just used to do the black centers and you put a button in the middle I'm doing a mixture I did say in the short which one do you like I'm leaning towards the green center because I think it looks great but yeah let me know in the comments below which one you like but time to make some poppies there are some great tutorials I'm pretty sure Bag of Day has a tutorial but I will put some in the link before if you want to make some poppies in time for Veterans Day or Remembrance Day or just to leave around the place to promote fibre art and people get used to seeing our crochet products so that's pretty much this part of the video and I'll say goodbye. Thank you to everyone who stayed to this far and watched it. Welcome to all those new subscribers. I hope you enjoy my yarn adventures and the make-alongs and all the different things I jump into. Sometimes I'm too quick to jump in, hence all the knitting projects that I have to finish. But you never know, I'm having fun and that's all that matters. And as Ruth loves to knit says, I'll cast on if I want to. It's my it's my prerogative to just do whatever I want to with my craft. So guys, the next video will be on my Amigurumi Wars finished object. And hopefully YouTube can see the funny side of it and have a laugh. Okay, till next time, make sure you have a crafty day, even if you're making poppies. One thing before you go... Thank you to everyone who went in and favorited my Etsy shop. It was awesome. I actually sold three tea cozy patterns. The thing was that was $13 in sales and I got something like 
$7.50 something back from Etsy after fees. With the pattern sales, because we're donating the money to Emma's Quest, Thing covers all the fees for me. And so I just give the full amount to Emma's Quest. But I do have a favour to ask. Um, I have got a Kofi shop set up with the patterns in it for sale and Kofi don't charge me any fees. There's just a minimal PayPal fee that Thing picks up for me when I sell patterns and there's only patterns there. So check out my Kofi link and follow me on Kofi to help me lift up in the shop algorithms for Kofi. Um, Etsy is getting way too expensive with fees. Quite a few people have closed down their shops now. But thank you everyone and thank you everyone who voted on which yarn I should make my shawl out of the three twisty yarns, the black, the tropical, the ocean blue. As of this morning, ocean blue wins. Black only got two votes. It was very close between tropical and ocean blue, but ocean blue is wins. So when I decide on what pattern I'll make, I'll show you. Okay, I will finally go now. But make sure if there's a video after this on my Amigurumi Wars, you stay and watch it and have a bit of a laugh. Bye for now. So I'm back again with my Amigurumi War um, finished object for this week. So sometimes I've had a couple of weeks where you feel like dropping the F-bomb, but you can't. You've got to be careful because there's children around. And my parents always used to say it's not ladylike to use that word. So I decided I would make an F-bomb, something I could throw. There we go. There it is, my F-bomb. Now, I was telling Ulia, my friend, about this, and she showed me pictures of one she made years ago for her daughter, I think it was. But it's different to mine. She made it bigger, and I made mine from a free pattern I'll show you in a minute. It's got, um, you put weights in it, and I used ceramic cooking beads that I have absolutely heaps of to be the weight. Um, I think Ulia crocheted hers around an old globe or something she had but yes that's my f-bomb so if you ever feel like dropping the f-bomb you drop one the pattern is by and i'm trying to see if i can see because i can't remember it was free on ravelry it's in a worsted way and it's black and gray mine because i can't really crochet with black so i um held a really four ply really thin probably Oh, I don't know, lace weight yarn with my black, a really dark grey to help me see the stitches. It's made with a 3.75 millimetre crochet hook. It's pretty easy. Aria V VO Creations. And it's called the F bomb. So yes, if you ever have a bad week and feel like dropping the F-bomb, make one and drop it. Bye for now.